Hello everyone and welcome back. I am your organizer advisor, Lisa Winfield. I am your life enhancement coach. I help you create health, happiness, and harmony in your life. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to continue with our document organization. Our topic today is magazines and although magazines are not really documents that we would file in our filing box or filing cabinet, they do tend to collect um, in stacks and we tend to like have magazines around and they kind of stack up. So uh, I'm going to give you some suggestions today on how you can manage your magazines so they don't pile up and you can um, put them to good use. Now, we all have our favorites. I have a, a ton of magazines and one of my favorite things to do with my mom was we would buy a new magazine and we would sit down and have a pot of tea and we'd go through it together. That was one of my most cherished memories with mom. So these are actually some of my mom's magazines that I've kept. Um, some of the ones that we went through together and so they're kind of sentimental to me so I'm going to keep some of them but normally either we have a subscription to a magazine or we buy magazines at the grocery store or you know the, the big box store that we go to um, and we you know we want to we've spent money on them because magazines can be quite pricey but we don't always want to get rid of them because they might have a great recipe in them or a good article or a good photograph for some ideas that we want. Um, and it's okay if you want to store magazines, um, you know, it, it, it's your personal preference. However, when they start to pile up and create um, piles everywhere and it gets stressful for you, some of the ideas in order to keep those favorite recipes or photographs or ideas and also some ideas for recycling magazines and not just in the recycling bin. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is what to do with those magazines that have those great pictures or you know a picture of a front porch that really inspires you and you don't want to get rid of it but you don't necessarily want to keep the entire magazine so what I suggest is like on our creative Sundays where we relax and you know our creative spiritual Sundays where we relax and have a pot of tea and just kind of reflect and that's a great day to kind of sit down in a comfortable spot and go through your magazines but do so with more of a critical eye as well as that inspirational eye what you want to do is you want to look through it and see if there's anything you want to save. If that's a magazine that really doesn't have anything in it that you want to, to capture um, in some way to save or preserve, then that magazine can be either recycled or it can be taken to a doctor's office, a dental office, nursing home, uh, schools use magazines for projects, um, any place that has a waiting room would love a magazine but here's a tip before you do if you have a magazine subscription and you have your magazines mailed to your home you're going to want to remove that personal information and you can do so by just cutting it out um, you can also mark through it with a permanent marker that's up to you I prefer to cut mine out but um, another thing that you can do in order to um, recycle your magazine is have a magazine swap if you know somebody else who has a subscription to a magazine that you enjoy that you don't subscribe to, you might want to have a, like a luncheon and then have a magazine swap where people can select magazines they want to take home and then just kind of pay it forward. But let's say you go through the magazine and you find a recipe you want to try, you find um, in that inspirational photo. There's a couple of things you can do to preserve that without having to keep the entire magazine and then acquire these stacks. What you can do is you can use your smartphone and you can snap a picture of it and save it as a digital copy. You know, transfer it to your computer or your hard drive under a folder of inspirational photos or recipes. You can tear it out. You can cut it out. You can take it and scan it if you have a scanner and create a digital copy. Or you can tear it out and you can create an inspirational storyboard or project board. So that way you can put together some decorative ideas that really make you 
inspired to redecorate or create. If you have recipes, you can snap a quick photo of those or uh, put them in a recipe file. You can put them in your, um, you can tear them out and put them in your grab and go binder so the next time you're meal planning, you can say, hey, I want to try that recipe. We'll talk a little bit later about what to do with all those recipes in another segment. I enjoy my Sundays going through a magazine. It reminds me of those memories with my mom. But, of course, once we start getting stacks of them, they can kind of start taking up a lot of space. And they are quite heavy. So, I just wanted to provide you some suggestions on how you might be able to manage some of the clutter created by stacks of magazines, but yet still keep the ones that are sentimental to you, but also be able to um, capture some of the inspiring photographs, recipes, um, and articles that we find in magazines. Nowadays, a lot of magazines are online, so that's another option if you don't want to have stacks of magazines around your home. However, there's nothing to me like flipping through the glossy pages of a magazine and just kind of visualizing some creative ideas that I would be able to incorporate to enhance my life. So there you have it. That's my suggestions on how to best manage some of your magazines and preserving the things in them that you want without having to deal with stacks of magazines. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Wish you health, happiness, and harmony.